Hello Decred community, welcome to a new bi-weekly news update for all things Decred. Today we're going to start with what's been going on with everyone's favorite ticket, Stakey. More specifically what the Stakey comic team has been up to. DCR Comic now has its own website at dcrcomic.org which hosts all of the comics they have produced. The latest comic explains the Lightning Network, a second layer solution that uses smart contracts in order to move transactions off chain. The Lightning Network allows for an unlimited number of small transactions to be processed quickly. Their next comic should be out soon and it focuses on Decred's time anchoring services. They also added a set of staky stickers to Telegram for the community to use. Make sure you follow them on Twitter to keep up with the latest staky developments. Moving on, we'll take a look at what else has been going on in the community. A massive 2019 marketing report for Decred was published by marketing lead Dustdorf. The report lays out pretty much everything that happened marketing-wise in 2019, talking about both the positive and negatives for the year, as well as total expenditures. It details lessons learned and urges the community to continue to take action and promote Decred. Looking at the numbers, in total 758,000 USD was spent on marketing, events, media production, and other various things related to expanding DCR's presence. We should be seeing a marketing proposal from Dustdorf sometime this month, which I expect will generate lots of buzz and discussion. So as I was editing this video, the marketing proposal did come out. Expect a video talking about it soon. The Decred.org website was recently revamped and launched. The website features a new visual look, a new explainer video, and new subpages that feature Decred's history and its three tenets, secure, adaptable, and sustainable. The website reflects agreed upon messaging that positions Decred as a superior store of value based upon these three tenets. The new explainer video on the site looks incredible. Here's a peek at it. Decred employs an innovative hybrid proof of work, proof of stake system that layers security and carefully aligns incentives. This system is an order of magnitude more expensive to attack than pure proof of work or pure proof of stake. Many currencies suffer from disputes that fracture communities and lead to contentious hard forks. Decred's built-in governance systems empower its community with formal rights to make consensus changes and manage project-level decisions. These systems make Decred adaptable, allowing it to evolve per the stakeholders and resist forks over the long run. The TV show Altered Carbon, which takes place 400 years in the future, displayed a few different cryptocurrencies a person could use to buy things. Decred was one of those currencies and for some reason has two numbers, which the community is still trying to figure out. Here's a quick snapshot regarding the growth for community stats for February. There were two new podcasts released, one being from Decred In Depth and the other from Rough Consensus. Let's hear a preview. Entrepreneurs are going to have trouble building around some of these protocols if they can't ensure that uh, if they get substantial skin in the game, they're not going to get burned holding the coins, right? So. You know, it, it all it all is a huge deal. And, you know, people overlook security just because, you know, like I, like I said before, a double spend happens, the, the show still goes on, right? The, the chain can continue, but it, the way entrepreneurs and holders within the space perceive the project substantially changes, which is a big deal. The fact that there's no obvious correct answer for Ethereum, uh, it makes you really appreciate what Decred actually has in terms of governance, because this, you know, Prog POW thing, this could drag out for a while, in my opinion. Um, just because there's there's no obvious correct path forward. So let's now talk price and markets. In February, DCR was trading between $16.71 to $24.75. In Bitcoin, it was trading between 0 0.0019 to 0 0.0024. The average daily rate was $20.48. The exchange probit listed Decred including South Korean won and USDT trading pairs. The exchange boasts 300,000 monthly active users. Decred and its community were featured in a few different media articles. The Does China Control Bitcoin and Ethereum article by Finance Magnets contained comments by Decred's project lead, Jake Yoakum Payat. Since both Bitcoin and Ethereum have pure proof-of-work consensus systems, they are subject to the indirect centralization that results from the fabrication process for GPUs and ASICs. Only a handful of facilities around the world can manufacture GPUs and ASICs, which drive centralization of the operation of the ICs being fabricated. He went on to explain why Decred chose a hybrid proof-of-work, proof-of-stake system that takes the best of both worlds. Giving power to the actual coin holders is one of the prime reasons DCR was created. What we're trying to do here is just fix that problem so that we go, the people who hold the coins are really the ones in charge, not necessarily the people who own this mining hardware that's located somewhere in the mountains in China. An article by Cointelegraph talks about the state of blockchain around the world. 
Decred's Aiken Sawyer was included in the article and had the following to say. Sub-Saharan Africa is seeing significant uptake in the development and use of blockchain networks. And I expect to see the region take the lead in adoption for a number of reasons. About 60 to 70% of Sub-Saharan Africa is considered to be unbanked by the World Bank. The unbanked are not a viable target of traditional financial institutions because the majority live on less than $3 a day and are not a profitable segment of the market. Ilian Huesca, Latin American operations lead at Decred, was also in the article and said the following in regarding the crypto surge in Latin America. An important reason for this is the variety of use cases for cryptocurrencies from remittances, investment and savings to a monetary alternative against hyperinflationary currencies. John Rice, who is the co-founder and former managing editor at Crypto Briefing and current managing editor at Cointelegraph magazine, said the following on a Crypto Murmur interview when asked about what projects he admires. So I look at a community that's self-governing in a positive way, let's say Decred, with its Politea governance system. For example, and I admire that the experiment is proceeding rapidly and without the kind of harm to others that philosopher economists have inadvertently caused in the past. There's been a number of events held with Decred ambassadors educating their local communities about how awesome Decred is. Decred ambassadors in Africa put out an awesome video displaying their meetup in Lagos, Nigeria. Decred Australia was present at the Crypto Bushfire Alliance panel. Here's a short glimpse at the panel. So we're getting closer and closer and closer. We just don't want to do what a Ethereum Classic did and go, you know, all gun blazing, uh, quite frankly, falls out and make a huge mistake. We're doing it um, methodically. The Latin America team was all over the place holding events in Argentina, Venezuela, and Peru. Next, we'll take a look at some network statistics to include mining hash rate, staking activity, and decred nodes. Throughout February, there was an average of 165 public listening nodes and 341 total nodes per DCR farm. Nodes are using a wide range of versions with 48.8% still using DCRD version 1.4. For staking, the 30-day average ticket price in February was 132.1 DCR. The locked amount was 5.4 to 5.65 million DCR, which corresponds to 48.5 to 51.20% of the circulating supply. We did see a record high of 166.82 for ticket price under the staking algorithm consensus change that was implemented back in 2017. And here's a look at the hash rate numbers. The amount of mixed coins reached 20% of circulating DCR supply. Decred coin join transactions mixed between 50 to 100,000 DCR daily, and on February 22nd, a new all-time high of 154,000 DCR was hit. This is equivalent of over $3 million. These and other metrics were published by Checkmate in our network issue number 10. For current numbers, DCR data alpha has deployed charts displaying the number of mixed coins. On to Politea and proposals. The proposal for European marketing and events that included a group of European DCR ambassadors did not pass. Needing 60% yes votes to pass, this proposal only received 38% yes votes. There was a voter turnout of 25% and the result was rejection. Oscar Gambo's Decred Creative Economy proposal was the first proposal ever to not hit quorum. Only 15% of voters turned out to vote. A proposal requires 20% of voters to turn up in order to be legitimate. The result was the proposal was rejected. A new proposal from the Brazilian community headed by Emilio Mann was just submitted to Politea. This proposal seeks up to 115,000 US dollars for the remainder of 2020 to empower the Brazilian Decred community to carry out their own marketing and events. Given Brazil's size and use of a different language, community members felt Brazil deserved its own funding and planning. More than 18 community members will be involved in the execution of this proposal shall it pass. This is part of a more decentralized marketing plan whereby community leaders from different regions submit their own proposals on Politea to acquire funding. Discussion is still ongoing. Speaking of the Treasury, let's take a look at the expenditures for the month of February. In February, the Treasury received 13,018 DCR and spent 12,622 DCR. Using February's daily average DCR USD rate of $20.48, this is $267,000 received and $258,000 spent. 
At January's average daily rate of $18, the USD figured build for work completed in that month is $227,000. As of March 10th, the Treasury balance is roughly 646,000 DCR, which is 10.6 million USD at an exchange rate of $16.44. As usual, lots of things going on in what is arguably the most important part of the project, development. So let's take a look. There was solid progress across all the major software repositories with optimizations to DCRD, a big batch of DEX components completed, and the mobile apps ready to benefit from the new consensus rules and more efficient SPV. Dev activity stats for February are as follows. 309 active PRs, 274 master commits, 52,000 added and 28,000 deleted lines spread across 20 repositories. Contributions came from two to six developers per repository. I would highly recommend checking out Decred's repos on GitHub if you have the technical capacity. Thanks for watching this bi-weekly news update. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and definitely check out the new Decred.org website. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.